Anglican Church of Kenya is pushing for the construction of a monument and a church next to the burial place of the institution's founder, Dr. Johan Ludwig Kraft's wife and daughter in Rabbi Mombasa in their honor. According to Archbishop Jackson Nasore Ole Sapit, the move will act as one way of celebrating the family of the first missionary to land in Kenya in 1844. The Anglican Church of Kenya is celebrating 50 years of existence in the country. The history of SEK dates back to 1844 when the first missionary, Dr. Johan Ludwig Kraft, arrived in Mombasa. SEK has since grown to 40 dioceses in the country. Reflecting on the contribution of Kraft's family, the church's Archbishop Jackson Olesapit is urging the national government to construct a monument of his wife and daughter at their resting place in Rabai. Last week I was in Mombasa. I went to see the grave where his wife and the child was buried and a little monument was erected. And Your Excellency, as the Anglican Church, you want to make an appeal that uh, you team us with the national museums to protect that little place where the first entry of Christianity began and allow us to erect a chapel which we shall call the cradle of Christianity in East Africa, so that people will worship and remember the entry point of the Word of God. Olesa Pitt says the church is additionally working to construct a chapel at the site in honor of the two who perished shortly after arriving in Kenya in 1844. Kraft was buried at the First Anglican Church in Ikuda, Makwini County. But he lived in a small island where the creek created, when the tide is high, it can circle a little hill. And we went to visit that hill called Chikaikai. Again, Your Excellency, we want to erect a monument to remind us of the first journey of Luding Krab before he landed in Rabai. Because it was in that little island, he was able to communicate with the fishermen who are coming until they knew he was not a slave master. He spoke during the commemoration of the SEK's 50th anniversary. Olesa Pitt said the celebrations offer the church an opportunity to reflect on the past as well as strategize for the future in relation to the salvation of the church. President Huru Kenyatta commended the Kenyan church for being at the forefront to drive social, economic and political change in the country. Uhuru lauded the church for efforts made to the country's political stability and empowerment of the society. And I will go even a step further because not only have you been involved very heavily in not just spreading the gospel, but also in participating in education, in health, and many other social activities that have gone to improve the lives of your fellow citizens. But I think I can say without fear that the church has also been at the very center of the social, economic, and political history of our country. Irene Mchuma Udim, Channel One.